Guys, welcome back to another Ixalan Magic Dungeons and Dragons draft. This is the Legacy Cube, and I'm your host, Fatal Push. What do I take here? There's a bunch of removal. You got Ultimate Price, Skin Render, Roast, Oblivion Ring, Fatal Push all in the bottom row. And then. Close but not quite. I'm glad you finally caught up with that uh that, that gut shot match. That was a classic. Um Harry Toes? Is it Harry Toes? Who cares, you know? Uh I kind of just want to take an Inferno Titan. What if I went into a Mexican restaurant and I was like, give me the Doritos. Let me get a let me get a lime Doritos. I would I would get laughed. Show and tell is a trap. We never take show and tell. I'll let my opponent take show and tell, and then when they play against me. They can two for one themselves. I think it's just Inferno Titan. I'm going to take Inferno Titan. I feel more comfortable with Inferno Titan than I do with Show and Tell. Because you, you play Show and Tell, and then they play Sower of Temptation, or Control Magic, or... I guess Control Magic wouldn't work, right? Because they're coming into play at the same time. I'm pretty sure you just take Jitte. I like Time Warp too, but I'm just going to take the Jitte. You're going to have a big standard tournament today. I got second place with the homebrew. Black Red Control is pretty sweet. Send me the list then. I ain't stopping you. I'm not your dad. Yet. I don't want to play Mono Red with Inferno Titan. I feel like we tried that already, and uh, it worked out pretty well. But I don't know if we can... Uh, I don't know if that, uh, what's, what's the saying? I don't know if that, that lightning will strike twice, which is a, an apt saying because of, uh, you know, because red. Because it's red. It's lightning. Uh, are, the adoption, are, the, are the adoption papers safe in the mail? Because that seems like something you want to hand deliver. I don't know if, uh, I think it's just Kiki Jiki. I want to take this Badlands. People are giving me some flack in the YouTube comments, like, like playful flack, like, like, hey, man, we know what's best for you, Flack. Uh, and, and not really... They're telling me I don't value fixing high enough. And I'm real tempted to take this Badlands, but this guy, this guy right here, this is the guy you want. Okay, so you don't get the light. Let me, let me explain it to you. So Lightning, right? Uh, if you're playing a format of Magic and you have red cards, right? It's very likely there'll be a card with the word Lightning in the title. Because it's just, uh, it's kind of, uh, kind of a, like a, it's a, it's a trope. It's a, it's a red trope, right? Lightning, like fire, you know, something like that. I'm glad I could explain it to you guys. I don't want to, I don't want to alienate anyone on the stream, so. Kiki wins games, Badlands barely ever does. Oof. Is this Dark Dwellers here? Dark Dwellers pretty good. I think... On face, like Dark Dwellers is just so much better than Stagger Shock, right? This guy's just basically uh he's kinda like a like a little Shriek Maw guy, right? A little, uh, little Shriek Maw. I'm gonna take Shriek Maw. Okay, okay. What about Okay, so Kiki Jiki blinks Resto, Resto brings blinks Kiki Jiki. Untaps it, and then it targets Resto again. That's a combo, right? This is an infinite combo. Kiki Jiki and Restoration Angel. Just to be clear. It's non-legendary. This blinks to Kiki Jiki when it comes into play. Kiki Jiki makes a new one. Alright, we're going to do that. I'm pretty sure your mom already knew that red was my favorite color, buddy. We talk about magic colors all the time. It's not. It's not. It's nothing new. This is not a nombo, right? You make a target of the Restoration Angel. The Restoration Angel then blinks the Kiki Jiki, which untaps it. Then you make another Restoration Angel, and it has haste. Yeah, that that works, right? I don't. Yeah, what are you guys trying to trick me for? You guys are just trying to trick me. I like this Chandra. I also like Wall of Omens. 
If you, you know what? Listen, I, no one wants you, wants to make it easier for you to give me money than me. That's for sure. I'm going to take Chandra. I like a Tundra. I like a Magma Jet. I like a Bruna as well. How can I still live the Bruna dream? Is that, is that a thing? Oh, the Blood Brood. That doesn't roll off the tongue. It also sounds really weird. It sounds like some kind of, it sounds weird. Let's just put it that way. The Blood Brood sounds weird. It sounds like we're sharing needles or something. I'm not comfortable with it. Lightning Helix? I think Lightning is probably better than Magma Jet. If we're white. I'm going to take Lightning Jet. Uh, Lightning Jet. <laughs> Lightning Helix. Because I don't care. Like, I don't care about the stupid Tundra. We also don't have any humans yet. So I will... Oh, this is a good Elspeth, actually. I was going to take the Bloodstained Mire, but now we got the... Uh, now I got this good Elspeth, and I feel like we're just... I feel like we can do we can live the white the white red dream again. Oh my god, look at this. Look how look how alive the white red dream is right now. Is Kiki Jiki and Angel Invention a pretty good combo? That seems alright. Also, I like Sarkon a lot. I think it might be Sarkon. Oh my god, Sammy, you are you were just killing it tonight, buddy. You guys wanted Angel instead of Sarkon? Dang it. See, I lost to Sarkon against the red deck, so that, that made me think like, well, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Why are there's only been two Boros streams and you went home to catch them both, man? I want to take Approach. Oh, the Badlands came back. So did a Chromatic Lantern. Actually, Chromatic Lantern is probably better fixing than Badlands, right? Mm, sure. Stagger Shock is fine. Hordling Outburst is a heck of a card to get back with Goblin Dark Dwellers. We'll take that guy. You like how I took no fixing? Oh, the Magma Jet came back? Wow. We have it all. Two drop, three drop, four drop, five drop, six drop, seven drop. I don't know why any of these things table. I don't know why Chromatic Lantern tabled. I don't know why Magma Jet was the last pick. That's a pretty good last pick. It's very it's very apparent when you're the only red guy at the table. And I feel like that's the case here. Like, we took the red-white card, which is more obscure than just the red card. What was, that? what was our other option with Chromatic? Was it Stomping Ground? It was Stomping Ground, Chromatic Lantern, and I took the Lantern because I think it's just, obviously it's better. Zealous Conscripts. That's two combos. Yeah, that's a pretty easy take. Uh, Honor of the Pure is not going to get played. Spectral is not going to get played. A Braid is good. Maybe the I think a Braid will probably table, though, because people have no respect. Copperline Gorge. Okay, so I knew it was a red, a red green land. And Lantern's probably just better. Let's us splash anything, not just green cards. And uh, if we don't end up splashing green cards, it still has value in our deck. Ramps us to five, which we are quickly ascending. I don't know what that means, quickly ascending? We are quickly, uh, pretty sure it's just swords, especially with the Goblin Dark Dwellers. Swords is a pretty easy pickup here. And we can blink the Goblin Dark Dwellers. That seems good. Actually, blinking this guy is good. Blinking uh, Goblin Dark Dwellers is good. Blinking Zealous Conscripts is good. Blinking Kiki Jiki is good. This is a good resto deck. Sammy, I'm sorry this has taken you so long, buddy. I wish there was a way I could make it easier for you guys to donate or subscribe or support. It seems like it's real, it's real challenging for you guys. And that, I mean that genuinely. Like, it actually is not easy, so. Get it together, Twitch. Yeah, the red-white decks are also difficult because you have double red, double white, double red, double red, double red, triple red, double red, double red. Well, this is single red, but you get the point. Hmm. Hmm. This is too greedy, right? I don't think you're just old, actually. It is actually difficult to subscribe, uh, especially with Prime through the Twitch app. So usually if you want to subscribe with Prime, you have to do it through the website, which is really archaic. I feel like that should be fixed. 
feel like it's actually lightning strike in this pack or duplicate. I'd have to get Megas to the Moon, right? Who cares? Thank you for the bits, buddy. I think I think it's just strike. It's where it's really Oh, actually. It's gotta be Ugin, right? Ugin is better than Strike, right? Do we just want the Ugin? Like Ugin just wins games, and I don't think it's it's hard to get. Okay, I'm gonna take the Ugin because I don't want you to sub and then unsub. And I also think Lightning Strike will probably come back, to be quite honest with you. <sighs> Marshall Coup. Are we big red? Can we do big red? Oh, uh, I think you get to eight man in the cube very, very frequently. Especially when we have chromatic lantern. We can also pick up a signet. There's no signets, but we can pick it, pick one up. We can pick up a signet. Iron Chef Sammy, 100 bones. Dude, thank you so much, man. That was way more than I was uh, ever expecting. Also, that Chris Pratt gif on point. I'm a big uh, Andy Dwyer fan. Dude, thank you so much, man. That is ridiculous. You like Mom over Marshall Coup? I feel like we don't have many creatures. Like, we have five creatures right now. Mom just feels kind of awkward. Whereas, like, I feel like both of these are better. This They're both sweepers. I kind of like Marshall Coup a lot. I love Marshall Coup, and, Marshall Coup and cubes a lot as well. It just clears off all the board and it gives you a dude. Um, Sammy, thank you so much, dude. That is pretty ridiculous. I'm really proud you did it, though. You, you got there, buddy. And that is the important part. Seeker of the Way is really good. That is a nice two drop. I'm going to take Seeker of the Way. Hey, buddy. You're good people. Hellrider, Mirren Crusader, Pia and Kieran Nalar, and Inspiring Vantage. I would have said I would have taken Outpost Siege, but we also have Chandra, which basically does the same thing with her zero ability. And I think she's just better. So I don't want two of that effect. Meanwhile, we're, we're a very spell-heavy deck, so I think Seeker of the Way is actually very, very good. I don't think Hellrider is great. I think it's Inspiring Vantage. I think we can get more of these other cards that do things. And people would yell at me if I didn't take the Inspiring Vantage or the Clifftop Retreat here. So we're going to take that. Maybe the Hour of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. One card is coming back. If it's Condemn or Hour, I'm going to be in, I'm going to be glad. Well, I've been up for 12, 15 minutes. So I think it, it took you about 15 minutes would be my guess. It's just Incendiary Flow. And it's either Incendiary Flow or Leon and Relic Warder, and I think Flow is probably better. Especially because we have Dark Dwellers. So Relic Warder is good, but he's a little fragile. Um and we can we can get And the Abrade comes back just as predicted. Let's see if all our predictions can come back. Well, we didn't make one in this pack, but it's it, it, it'll probably do it anyway. <laughs> we could take a Tarka and just cast it off of Chromatic Lantern. That's cute. Just brimstone. Is it five? Well, we don't have a blue. I mean, we guess we could have a blue for off of lantern. It's probably even just dealing two divided by two is probably better than brimstone volley though. So, and lightning strike comes back as well, which is less good now that we have helix and cinder flow and a braid. We might even just want collective effort. Yeah, collective effort kills an enchantment and or a creature or both. Or it can put a whole bunch of counters on our Marshall Coup guys. So that's actually pretty good. Mizium Mortars came back. Outpost Siege came back. Yep. So everything everything we wanted basically came back. That's pretty good. Put these guys over there. We can stretch you out just a little bit. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and X. I don't imagine we're gonna need any more. Any more room in this area? Sure. Honestly, I don't think this is a Hellrider deck. I love Hellrider, but it's not a Hellrider deck. So I'm just going to take the Arc Trail, and maybe it's better than one of these other removal spells. That's pretty sweet. Hour of Devastation came back. Likely playable. Anything good? Nothing good. 
Apex Predator. Colagon's Command, splash it off a lantern. This pack's pretty bad for us, unfortunately. Stoke the Flames is like the most appealing card. Uh, tempting to just take Colagon's Command and uh, try to... Like, try to splash it off something. I think Colagon's Command is so far and away better than... Uh, than any other card in this pack. It's better than Stoke. It's better than Stromkirk Noble. It's better than the Student. We do have Stoke, and we do have a Hordling Outburst into Stoke, like that standard format. I think it's Colagon's Command. It also gives us a way to deal with artifacts outside of a Braid. I think Absent is very good. It deals with any permanent. I'm also pretty sure it will table, or Colagon's Command will not. Glorybringer. Mindstone and a Needle Spires. Ooh, this pack is nice. I kind of like Mindstone here. Just because we're trying to get to bigger mana. Bigger and better mana. Yeah, I agree with Cold Zars. Um, it's the best card for our deck. And if we... Like, as it gets back a combo piece. Like, it can get back a Kiki Jiki or Resto or a Zealous Conscripts if we need it. Um, and it also doesn't lose... I don't think we need any more removal. I think Spires will table. I don't think it's Defiance. I think it's actually Glorybringer or Mindstone. And I think, I, th I think it's Mindstone. I don't think we need another effect like this. I think we just want the, the ramping. There's the good one. That guy's crazy. Um, I don't think we're a Ravages of War deck, but... Are we just a Banefire deck? Always bolus. I don't know if this time is an always bolus time. Kitchen Fings is actually an option. It's a white card. Let's sort to these. Incendiary Flow is probably the weakest of those. Um, I don't know if Hour makes the cut. What does Hour exclude? Nickel Bolus Planeswalkers? That's pretty good. I really don't know what to take here. I think there's a good card in here. I don't know what it is though. Maybe just dual caster mage. Sure. Doesn't. I don't think it's gonna have a huge effect. Black Cleave Cliffs is nice for fixing. I like face fetters a lot here, actually. We'll put K Command in the sideboard for now. I don't I think I think face fetters is better than a black cleave cliffs. Um we can also blink. Um, I don't think we want. To, I don't think we want cloth here. I like. I like that we can also blink the face fetters to gain four more life. And actually, can we? No, it's not. It's a creature. Never mind. My mistake. I actually like Sarkon a lot. How do you like cloth over? So we play cloth on four. On turn five, we have five mana. If three of them are mountains, then we can play Ugin on turn five. If cloth survives, it's interesting. Arid Mesa. That's pretty good. Better than Karmic Guide? Probably. I'm going to take Arid Mesa. Could also be Windbrisk Heights. I don't think we have that many ways to trigger it. Like, we just have Martial Coup and Hordling Outburst. I don't think we're... A f we have six creatures. So I'm going to just take the Arid Mesa. And then you guys can yell at me less about fixing. Declaration in Stone is pretty good. I actually don't have respect for Ancient Tomb. That's that's hundred percent true. I, I think it's a I think it's kind of a trap. Like we're not playing a combo. Like so here's the thing. If you have a combo deck where you want to show and tell on turn on turn two or something, um, I think I think Ancient Tomb is great. If you're playing like a mid range dirtily deck like this, you're gonna take ten damage from your from your Ancient Tomb before you actually get to win the game. Um I don't think this is a has What's Hazzy B? Where's the B come from? I don't even know where that B comes from. I also don't think this is a deck where we're going to be emptying our hand. I kind of like Declaration in Stone just because it deals with everything. I don't hate a Soulfire Grandmaster. It's also just a pretty good two drop. 
And instant and sorcery spells have lifelink. That's actually pretty relevant. I think we'll just play Soulfire Grandmaster. Wow. All right. Hmm. Oh, Hazard Barboglibu. All right. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Um. Oh, Hazard the Bee Fervent. What is it? What is the pick here, guys? Is it Bonfire? Hossmania, have a good night, buddy. I'm glad you dropped by. I want to take the Bonfire. Because I'm a maniac. I'm an utter... Look, see, the unexpected lamps and just came back. We have so much removal here in our deck. Oh, the Needle Spires also came back. Feels good. Uh, Forked Bolt... I'm just going to take Ravages of War, I guess. Black Cleave Cliffs. I don't foresee us splashing the Colagons Command. I might just want to take the Abbot, because maybe we'll play that. I don't think we need four of these effects. Hidden Dragon Slayer is fine. I actually think I, I think we can take approach out. I think that's a little too cute. I don't think this is for the the red white the red white deck. I think it's more for the uh, the blue white deck. Did Nicol Bolas table? Is that what just happened there? And burst lightning seems good. A glorious anthem? We're not a glorious anthem deck, right? Crater's Claws. Literally every red card just came back. The cough didn't come back, but we'll we'll deal with that. What is this? What am I holding? Nothing? Okay. Uh Mike is currently asleep, I assume. It is like 1 a.m. So this is 25 cards and you cut two. We have seven creatures. This is kind of a creature, this is kind of a creature. This guy's kind of a creature. This guy makes creatures. So it's kind of like 11. 11 creatures. Um, I think Arc Trail is probably the weakest one. We have Stagger Shock, which kind of does a similar thing. But maybe Arc Trail is just better than Stagger Shock. Especially because we can't flash... We can't uh, flashback with Goblin Dark Dwellers. Turn on Blood Moon. Have a good night, buddy. This will definitely be up on YouTube. So Stagger Shock. Don't have any great Jit Carriers. Uh, any creature that can attack is a great Jit Carrier. I think Jit is actually perfect for this deck because it makes all of our one ones really good threats. So we need one more cut. How much, like, how much burn removal do we have? Basically all of this. Swords. <sighs> it's pretty good. Face fetters we can cut, maybe. Just put in the sideboard for now. It's really good, though. Gain four, shuts off planeswalkers. Maybe we just cut one of these four. Arc Trail? Might be just Arc Trail. Like having a Braid, Magma Jet, Mizium Warriors, Lightning, Helix, and Swords of Plowshares is a lot. Along with Face Fetters, we have Sarkon to kill things. We have Inferno Titan. We can Goblin Dark Dwell as a second one. It's a lot of removal. The only reason I don't want 41 cards in this deck is because we have such a high top end. But we did get a lot of fixing. I like the fixing we have here. Five eight. Let's go six seven. This deck looks good. I'm a fan. Let's do it. Plus we have it the contents because the deck is not legal in this format. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? Uh huh. Yeah. 
that seems like a real thing. Unfortunately, my cube deck that I drafted is not legal in the cube format. So let's take a shot of this. Save it as error. And let's take a shot of our deck so that when we restart, we don't have to do this all over again. Plus, I'd like to compare uh, whatever reloads just to make sure it's all there. Deck. No. Cube deck. All right, well. Oh, boy. Magic Online never change. Magic Online might be mad that we didn't splash K command. Boy, oh boy. I bet our deck is not, is no longer saved. That's my guess. How about League? Edit deck. Oh, look, exactly what we predicted. This is exactly what we were afraid of. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hi, yi, yi. Incendiary flow, you were not in the deck. This is 27, four lands, I think this is exactly it. All right. Let's try to add basics. Six, five. Are you ready, guys? Hey, look, it worked that time. All right. Are we sure there's nothing else we want? Collected effort is good. Abbot of Carol Keep is good. Declaration is good. But I think everything we have is a little bit better. So I'm good. Oh, that was a fun journey. We did it. I will play first. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll keep this in. I don't hate it. Combo! Also, if we just wait till we get nine mana, then we can win on the spot. All right. Do 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 do. do. Oh, that was such a good draw. What up, Seeker of the Way?
F the club. I'm going to the cube. Nice. I like your I like your life choices. Boy, blue white is a, a common color combination. Get in there for two damage. Two whole damage points. I hit my opponent for two hit points. That's what we say in the old Magic the Gathering game. I lose so many games of Magic trying to BM by stalling to kill the opponent by flinging their own creature at them. What is wrong with you? Why are you like this, Connor? Why are you the way that you are? Oust. If that was a path to exile, if, if, we, if this was a path, I probably would have pathed my own guy. This is actually pretty good because now we can just complete five drops next turn. That was a great draw. I was going to ask if they missed a land drop, but they did not. I don't think it's actually correct to... Oh, Steven Z, thank you for the bits, buddy. Bid it up. Um, I don't think it's Kiki Jiki here. We could just zealous conscripts and hope that the six cards can't stop what we're doing, but that seems greedy. What? Wow, that guy has no soul. So indeed, that would have definitely stopped either one of these bad Larrys. Well, that's a dude. Can we get a land? Nah, that's not a land. That's sad. Can we just play Kiki Jiki here? I guess so. I guess we can actually wait to try to swords this guy. Is that better? I don't know. Oh, boy. There's no way Kiki Jiki survives, though, right? I felt like this hand was doing real good things. They also only have one blue. I'm going to pass and sort the plowshare that guy. Giving them a look at the top three cards is not safe. Yeah, giving yeah giving them the ability to connect with Ojitai while we have a Kiki Jiki out is pretty bad. Well, that was pretty good. We could have zealous to un untap a land, but it's the same principle. Like, I just don't want them to have a million cards in their hand. Okay. Make some dudes. I'm going to actually lightning helix that thing. Actually, what do you, two? Let's zealous conscripts that and make their last three dudes. Or, alternatively... Now nah, we're just going to sell us. Because next turn we can just win. Thank you for my friends. Pass the turn to you. Alright, well. If they tap out. We get to go to. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Game two. Keekums McJeekums. Copy you. Yeah, they know what's up. All right, sweet. Good times. Old Keeks McJeeks. The old Jeekerino, as, as it were. Our of Devastation actually seems pretty reasonable here. Killing Planeswalkers, which they have. Killing Oj things like Ojitai, which they have. I'm going to bring an hour, and I'm going to take out, like... Mizzy Mortar is also good to deal with Ojitai, which is nice. I'll take out Magma Jet. 
I like Magma Jet. I think, honestly, I think a Braid is the weakest one. It's nice to deal with artifacts, but we didn't see any. And we still have face fetters to do to do just that. Um, I kind of like Marshall Coup. We can play Hidden Dragon Slayer, which kills Ojutai. That's kind of cool. That's a nice flavor flavor win. Oh boy. I don't like this in my hand. I also don't like this in my hand. And I don't like one land in my hand. Ship it. This is significantly better. I'm going to put you on the bottom though. We want a little more early stuff. Well, you're no earlier, but you're still pretty okay. You're still an okay dude. My nose itches. Oh, Jitte resolves. I would not, I would not begrudge a, a white mana here. That'd be nice. What are you, Stratus Dancer? Well, that's a pretty much a white land. I could just kill this. I could Lightning Helixes to prevent a Stratus Dancer from flipping, but I don't think I care. Can someone let me know what morphs are in the cube? I'm pretty sure what white and uh, we got Hidden Dragon Slayer and Stratus Dancer, I think, are the only ones I know of. Not sure if there's any other secret morphs. I don't think Exalted Angel's in this cube. I think that's pretty outdated. Interestingly enough, if we play Elspeth, what does Stratus Dancer become? A 3 2? 3 2 flyer? One, two, Mind Stone. That does not do what you think it does. I guess we figured it out. Which is awkward because now we just get the Lightning Helix this and feel good about our choices. White and red. I think they thought that I think they thought Stratus Dancer was counter I think they thought they thought Stratus Dancer was in the gate. I really should go to bed, but I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall. <laughs> oh my god. Oh one Sonster, why are you the way that you are? Oh my god, are we gonna do the Zealous Constructs play again? Are we gonna draw Kiki Jiki to make it even better? No. But kind of. God, this has been so good every time. We I like that we share this Elspeth. This is our Elspeth. And pass it up. We share it every time. Tom Man, 25 months in a row, dude. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Appreciated. You are a good, good person. I said this is our Elspeth in there. I think so. I guess I just have to learn to share. <laughs> Love it. Oh, uh, is it in. In Soviet Russia, it is people's Elspeth. Elspeth negative loyalties you. That doesn't make any sense. No play, huh? Uh oh, you're gonna do a thing. Oh god, what's happening? I don't know. Vendillion Kluke. See if you're targeting me or yourself. Me. I'm not going to swords this because we have Muzawa's Jitte on the board, so 
If you want to take the swords, you're more than welcome to do that. But we can also play Elspeth. Um, yeah, this is going to be... Um, see, there's a... actually the problem is that like... One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. If we have one more mana, Elspeth, they're gonna, they got to take Elspeth, right? It's got to be Elspeth. Oh, that's... Whew. That's a dude. One, two, three, four, five. So we got six mana. I guess we actually need one more mana, right? Because we can't actually play the seventh mana this turn. So we're just going to play this. Uh, one, two. Put that on you. On you. To show me the way. God, they have to do something with the, the Jitte, right? Unexpectedly absent on the Jitte. That's pretty good. I don't think we actually care about the Vendillion Click. We're just going to draw the Jitte here. Sure. What's up, Dino, sir? Um, one... Crack you. And I'll just replay Jitte while they can't counter it. And this is why we held this guy back, because then they just block here. And in order to kill this, we have to trade. I'd rather have one guy to keep a Jitte on, so. Oh, that's a... That's a Geisterino. Well, that's actually good. I like that you attacked with this, because now we can attack with our Zealous Conscripts. And if you want to trade with both of these guys, that's fine. Let's just keep... keep yeah, we'll do that. Oh, that's pretty good. So what's it cost? One, two. We can do it for three, right? We can do it for two, actually. Uh, yes, we'll cast it. Two is you. One, two, three. So we can still equip Jitte. That should get rid of everything. If you'd like to negate it, you can. You did not want to do that. Put this on here because they're going to be more incentivized to kill this guy. So we might as well get the... If you want to kill a creature, you're either going to have to kill the Jit guy or the 3-3. Three, three. That's a combo piece. So that is your choice, good sir. Man, still have things, huh? Sword's the guy. All right. He did. I feel like we're in okay shape here. That was a timely bonfire. Got rid of a million click, a Geist of St. Traft, and a token. Along with dealing two to the dome. The chrome dome. That's not fair. I don't know if he actually has a chrome dome. You got it. He has been ousted. One, two, three, four. So we can actually just put this on here. And now we actually have enough mana to swords to plowshares and buy it back every turn if we want to. That's pretty good. Infinite swords to plowshares. Well, that's just rude. Why are you the way that you are? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, well. We can cast anything in our deck, just don't, just not Marshall Coup. Okay. I accept. Pass the turn. So now any land lets us play Ugin. We can cast Marshall Coup, and any spell is playable. So our draws are now uh, lively. Whatever that means. No blocks. They have three cards in hand. We have three cards. Why do I feel like we're in such better shape? But I also feel like we've used our cards significantly better. One, two, three, four, five. We also have seven lands and they have two or five rather. Why did I say two? I don't know. That's weird. 
I'm going to get a land here because I just want to thin my deck out a little bit. It's actually pretty good. Uh, let's play a Soulfire Grandmaster first, see if you want to counter that. You did not. You did not. I'm just going to play Chandra. Cool. Seems good. Pure card advantage. What do we have in that realm? Uh, I think Ugin is pure card advantage. Jitte is pretty good card advantage. I mean, like, we don't have pure... We don't have, like, draw X cards or anything like that, but this is actually fine because all of these are pr pretty brutal. Plus, we just get to Ugin, and if we Ugin negative three, we do lose this. Oh, I see. That's pretty interesting. So... One, two, <clears throat> so here's what we're gonna do. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Five mana for infinite swords to plowshares. I like it. Martial Coup is also pretty good. We can also pay for Martial Coup for one at this point, right? Seven mana. Oh, look at you. Look at you, you beautiful chicken. That is a beautiful chicken. Well, would you look at that? I wonder if negative fiving Ugin here is worthwhile. It gets rid of our Grandmaster... But it also gets rid of their Oblivion Ring and their... I think we're doing that. We'll obviously attack for a million. Uh, plus two. And this gains us like a million life. Do you guys know what the, the, the button is you hold down for, to just tap the land automatically? Like, you hold down the button and it just adds whatever mana. Do you guys know what that is? you know what button it is? It used to be M, if I recall correctly. I thought it was M, but it was not. M is not apparently not that button anymore. Uh, hold the key priority, stop passing. No, yes, pass, hold to, hold to automata. W now. Okay, so now it's W. It's an interesting change, but it is what it is. So, what do we do here? Elspeth is a good one. No, that's a good one. No, we're not at a point where we can kill Elspeth yet. Let's go W. One, two, three, one, two. That worked. All right. Dark Dwellers will get Lightning Heals back. Kill Elspeth. W for whatever, man. Actually, that makes sense. I cannot argue with that. Good games. Also, we could have actually Lightning Helix their face, Ugin their face, and then Chandra their face, but that puts them to two. So we're not actually, like, winning that. Like, on the spot, anyway. I, th I don't think that game was that far. But... Oh, God. I hate any hand with stupid bonfire in it, but... What do you guys think? Do we mulligan this hand? Mizzy Mortis Braid Ugin Bonfire is not a great hand. There's not a lot of things we're doing with this hand. This basically puts us on six. It'd be these two. So, like, is this a better five card? Is this, Can we get a better six card hand than this five card hand? Is the question. Uh, I graduated. I have a bachelor's in English. Specifically in creative writing. 
Uh, I don't think my degree helped me directly. Like, none of my jobs required my degree. But um, I feel like the skills I learned in writing classes, in English classes, um, did help me get the jobs, if that makes sense. It's worse. It's definitely worse. Be a good five. Eh, this is fine. Bottom you. All right. It might have been a keep. We're still on the draw. We get six cards. Uh, I went to University of South Florida. USF. Go Bulls. So, yeah. Like, I had no job where they like, oh, an English degree. Well, that's impressive. But, uh, you know, I did learn things during my during my years so that was helpful wow ew usf that's rude dude yes the uh the degree and the 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 advice i just gave or the uh, input the insight i just gave uh was definitely more legit than this hand i would say however we're getting there any land and we can play a planeswalker next turn oh i see you're a knight okay so that's why that's why that's why we have this rivalry i understand i understand whoa five thousand bits linner 519 thank you so much man really appreciate it dude are you at the top now is that the top that's pretty good that is pretty good. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. That is a good amount of bits. You are certainly not a son of a bit. Well, all right. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Never resolves. They have three mana up. Wow. That's that's like the rudest thing you can do. Yeah, I, I never think college rivalries are real. Like, I never take that seriously. Like, I don't think anyone's really upset with the other person or, you know, whatever. So, yeah, nothing. No, good times. Just good times. Hmm. It's pretty good. Hits that ponder. False. Black bear. Beats bears. Battlestar Galactica. What is going on? Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, so... Okay, so maybe there is some, some serious rivalries. Maybe I'm just incorrect. Yeah, USF has gotten significantly stronger in the past uh, several years, I would think. Closers, thank you so much. Welcome back. Two months sub, really appreciate it. Oh, I see. A Chandra. Well, that's unfortunate. I was actually trying to kill the Chandra, but that is not how that works. Michael! What is going on? Alright, well. Three cards, huh? Show me that. Nope. Alright, we're still alive, so that's pretty good, I guess. Yep. Oh, and is it Charm? I see. It's in the Exile Zone, but it's not here in the Exile Zone. So that's interesting. I wish this dealt four damage. I guess we can still kill Chandra as a 2-2 haste, can't we? Like, that's still an option. I mean, presuming their, their three cards in hand do nothing, right? Like, that's totally reasonable. Oh, that's a thing. All right, so you're just playing infinite guys that stop my things. I got you. Six mana, huh? Okay. 
It's also unfortunate because Kiki G. Killing deals one to Chandra now. Platter Man, thank you so much, man. Glad glad to hear it. I had a good time playing that deck, so. I guess we just Elspeth? She goes to five. They Dark Dwellers her down to, to one, and then they Chandra to kill her? That seems terrible. Alternatively, I guess we can do one of these jobbies. Yeah, Zealous Conscripts would have been a good draw there. Yeah, actually, the uh, the Vampires deck we just posted on Saturday, if you guys missed it, you can check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Frank Lepore. And uh, it seems like it's probably pretty cheap to build, would be my impression. It does not strike me as an expensive deck. What do you got here? Uh, we will leave the glory bringer by itself. In fact, according to MTG Goldfish, it costs sixty-six dollars online and one hundred eighteen in paper. So, if you guys are looking for that, I feel like we're really far behind right now. I think it's because they're two four fours and they're Jace. We did go five zero with the deck. Yes, it was pretty impressive. Oh my god, we need one land. That's unbelievable. We literally can't do anything. If this was if we had one more land. Wow. That'd be good. But they do have uh three mana up and a shell dock isle, so we're just gonna go to the next game. That's a good dude too. Okay, so I want to take some of these burn spells out. I'm bringing burst lightning over like magma jet. And we will bring in Actually, Hour of Devastation seems great here over a Braid. I like Effort. Um, but I think I think Burst Lightning and maybe maybe Collective Effort is... I don't. I just don't like the double red. A dull white, I guess. Burst Lightning just seems easier. Which also kills the creatures. Does it for five, whereas Collective does it for three. The thing is, Burst Lightning also kills Planeswalkers if we need to. Four, four damage to a Planeswalker is also pretty relevant, so. I think this is a fair side sideboarding. Also, if you guys haven't done so and you want to support the channel, feel free to give me a like, a follow, or a subscribe. Both of those things help me out. We we, we stream at least five days a week at the, at the current time. We have been for several months now. Um, sometimes twice a day, some, usually in the afternoon between like three and f like three and seven, and then again between like nine and midnight or so. Um, I'm gonna keep this hand because last time we mulled and it didn't feel good, and this time maybe it's correct to just keep the hand. I don't know. Magic's hard. Oh, the old the old shell dock aisle. Seven days a week. I, I mean, this 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 past week, I think I streamed six days a week. So, I mean, it was Sunday, and I've streamed twice today. So, I, I was here for between like four and seven streaming modern, and then I came back at midnight. So, I mean, seven days a week is is not close from no, it's not close f close from real, not far from reality. I guess is what we're gonna say here. Oh my god, eight days of Frank, nine weeks a day. Oh, where's my Abraid now? I guess actually Abraid is probably better than Lightning Helix. I don't know why I kept the Lightning Helix in. I guess, I I think I feel like I, oh, that was a great draw. Except they have Force Spike, which is why they played Co Coalition. They tapped out for Coalition Relic, and they're just going to get to twice us. Yep, like you do. Uh, I played a Teamer Moon deck. I misplayed like crazy in the first round, in the first two rounds, because I was not focused. It is going up on YouTube tomorrow, though, so you guys can check that out if you want from... Videos, new videos go up every day at 11 a.m. Eastern time on YouTube, so you guys can check those out. Yeah, so I guess we can Jace this, or uh, Lightning Helix it. It's a good draw.
Sammy, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it. You have been awesome, dude. Go get some sleep, I guess. Man, Coalition Relic would have been great to destroy with an abrade, but uh, being ha having a way to kill Jace, like that's that's the price you got to pay, right? So I mean, you have a way to deal with Jace, or there they play a Chandra, Magma Jet. So I mean, you're gonna deal two damage either way, so you might as well play it, right? Sure. Uh, I have not made a video on my thoughts about M25, but that's a good topic. Maybe I should. I'd have to do some research, though, because I don't know what their design process was for the set, so it's a little harder to... Time to just kiki-jiki and attack Chandra? But I also want to... We have five. I think it's actually just this here. I don't think we care about Chandra right now. I actually would love to do a 365 day stream challenge, but it's actually very, very hard to do, especially when you travel. I actually don't know how they do it when they travel. Like, like I want to be at a friend's house. Like I can do it from my laptop, but I feel like the quality suffers. And so I'm a, I'm the kind of person that like, if I don't, if I'm not satisfied with the quality of something, I just don't do it. <coughs> like there have been so many videos I just didn't post because I wasn't comfortable with the, with the quality. Yeah, we are really far behind. They are playing a control deck, and we are kind of also a control deck. We want to play against creature decks, so. Sure. Like, what's the conditions? Do you just, can you just stream anything? Like, I can stream a match as long as it counts, like... Like, what's the minimum you have to stream for it to count for a day? You know what I mean? They also don't have any cards in hand. Hmm. Well, I'm sure this is going to get countered. To the surprise of no one. No, oh, it just goes back to the hand there. All right. Well, that's a thing, I guess. I mean, we didn't attack first because we were going to try to... <laughs> Actually, activate Kiki Jiki. Wow. Are you kidding me? So, we played this in hopes they didn't have a counter spell, right? Um, we played it first because if they didn't, then we can actually just copy it and put them in a really terrible position. They did have a counter spell, and it had to be it happened to be a counter spell that that drew them a remand that that drew them a card, it was remand, which put them at 20 cards. Allowing them to flip Glory Bringer in for free from Shell Dock Isle. So sometimes it just can't get any worse. You just play this, right? It's just a 2 2. There's no way 2 damage is more important. That's super weird to me. You have 9 mana. You need 9 mana. If the 3 mana was bothering you, you need something for the cost that costs 7 or more. That's weird to me. Two immediate mortars, cast it on you. Do you counter this? Force of will hard cast. Interesting. All right. Right, that's the other thing. Like, if I have to go to a doctor, what if I get sick? Like, if I get, like, I've gotten sick, like, in the past probably four months, I think, I've just gotten, like, a cold, right? And you feel terrible. Do you just still stream? It's super weird. Are you just killing me? What's going on here? We're at seven now? Sure. Magma Jet. Doing doing good here. Doing good. 
Yeah, we're pretty, pretty much dead. We go to five here. We can't kill Chandra. So Chandra's going to deal us two, put us to three. We can't kill Goblin Dark Dwellers. If we draw a land, we can Marshal Coup, which will put us to three. Um, and we did not. Yep, that's pretty much game. All right. Well, that was not good. I would say if you don't feel like streaming, then don't do it. Yeah, that's 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 exactly what I do now, right? But alternatively, we're talking about the 365-day stream, like which is like streaming every single day and then like, you know, checking off every day, right? So at the end of it, you're like, I streamed every day for 365 days or whatever. Um, oh, this hand is bad. I'm going to keep this hand because I don't feel like... I think if we can hit lands, we're good. We have three turns to hit a land. I've, I've tried to think through the logistics. That's the funny part because it's just like, I would love to do this, but I think it's actually very, it's, it's not easy. It's very challenging. And I know it sounds like that's such an obvious thing to say. Well, it's a very challenging thing to do, but realistically, like it's, it's harder than it looks, I think. Oh, well, if you've made a commitment to stream every day, then you have to do it. doesn't matter what you feel like. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Sorry, too bad, buddy. You made a commitment, pal. Oh, that's scary. Oh, that's less scary. Okay. Please let us draw red next turn. Please let us draw red. Thankfully, we are not in the business of uh, having blue or green. You just have to equip this, right? Yeah, okay. What is this? What are you doing? I should have let you attack first because it doesn't matter. But I guess... Oh, you're just going to... Sure. That's fine. Should have definitely let you attack first. That's fine. I don't care about that. Give me a... Oh, come on. Really? That's dumb. Now we have nothing to play. Oh, that's frustrating. So they play a guy. Then they smuggler's copter it. Well, that's good enough. God, missing one stupid land in Magic is so brutal, dude. It's my least favorite part of this game. Oh, you missed a land drop? Well, you're probably not coming back. Sorry. Hope you had fun. Well, I didn't. All right, well, that's too bad. Maybe next time. I mean, I'm pretty sure we just want dudes out here. And if we draw a land of land, we get to play Dark Dwellers. Actually, they just equip and put sword on this guy. And it's just actually... Mon like, disgustingly terrible for us. Lotus Cobrano. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, that's very good. Oh, that's exactly what we wanted to happen. Yes, please. I could not be more grateful for that. I could be more grateful for that, though, because it doesn't actually do anything. Okay. Welp. I guess we just play you. Is it play or cast? Can we play that card? So if we hit a land, it's good. So I think we're just going to shoot you and redirect to Garrick. Is that good? Did I even want to flip that dude? I guess we can kill Garrick now, but then we just take a bunch of damage. two cards but they have smuggler's copter and sword oh gross yeah 
Yeah, let's just get rid of a Planeswalker. All right. The thing is, they could actually go both at Chandra here and then Wolf at us. Oh, God. We're just so far behind right now. I mean, a land lets us bonfire for two. Eh, that's pretty good. Let's control me draw a card. Well. Really? All right, well. Unfortunate life we live. It's no good. Luke, I got you, buddy. Me? Yep, exactly how he drew it up. Ten cards into the graveyard. Draw a card because your guy's the biggest. Oh, you got something else. Oh, you're just going to equip that. That fine, gentlemen. So this is the only thing we can cast, huh? Okay. How are we not dead here? I don't know. Seems pretty bad. 17 lands and a Mind Stone and a Coalition Relic. Makes you wonder. Do we have any other artifact removal in the sideboard? Enjoy your manas. Or your lifes, rather, I guess. Is cramming for a test effective given it's a last option solution? Um, I think it can be effective. I think the method you use to study is more effective than um, than when you study, Is that if that makes sense. Like, there's definitely ways to study that is more that are more effective than others. Like, you just... Certain people... Oh, that's good. Certain people learn different ways. What are you getting back? Garrick. Because of course you are. I agree that it's probably better than not studying at all. Because if you even learn one thing and you can apply that to your test, that seems important. Okay, let's see what you hit here. Swords. Martial Coup. That was a good one. Chandra, Hordling Outburst, Lightning Helix. Um, we can also deal two to everything, but that doesn't really do much. It does kill a bunch of dudes. I think it's actually just Dark Dwellers into a Hordling Outburst. Or it could be Lightning Helix. We go to 12. And we get to draw a card. That's pretty good, right? If its power is greater than each other... Oh, no, it's actually not. We kill this with Lightning Helix. Go block, block. I think it's actually... So how's this going to work? We're active players, so our thing goes in the stack first, and then theirs will resolve first. So we're never drawing a card here. Sure. Yeah, so unfortunately they equipped it to the guy. That actually... It. If we can hit a land next turn to play Inferno Titan... All right, always yield to this. Don't care. Uh, land to play Inferno Titan and then a land to play Bonfire and then a land to play Ugin. I think we're actually in good shape. I don't know for, uh, for sure. Garrick is in hand. I know that. Oh, boy. X is the greatest power. So you can actually add four mana. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, that's pretty bad. This is where they just go Crater Hoof Behemoth, right? Jitte in the graveyard. Marshall Koo in the graveyard. Land land is really what we're looking for. I'll take three lands in a row for crying out loud. Interesting. Block you, block you, block you. 
Wait, you don't go there. You go there. And you go there. These are the blocks. Do, 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 I can see them actually playing Garrick to kill Goblin Dark Dwellers, but that doesn't seem great. Pack Rat. Interesting. Might just bonfire for two now. It gets rid of this guy and this guy. And if they make another rat, it gets rid of that too. Garrick. If you kill this guy, we're 100% bonfiring. I really didn't have a good method of studying. Um, <laughs> I mean, because like I was, I was an English major, so much of my stuff wasn't really like it wasn't based on um, memorization, right? It was more, you know, short stories. It was more, you know, poetry stuff like that. Like it was more writing based. Do 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 do. That was pretty good. I'm okay with that. One down. Land. Oh. Do we Inferno Titan to kill the Garrick? And then we have three dudes. We can easily block the wolf. Packrat they can activate one time. Welcome back, P Bert. P -p 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 Bert. I think this is better next turn. It kills this guy. Oh, it kills these two. Puts Garrick to one. We can't actually... We can attack, kill Garrick. We'd have one guy left and then have these two. I feel like we're in good shape here. This is also going to deal three, though. We can actually deal one and two. And then we four Garrick. Actually, let's do that. And we get to draw a card. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Oh, yes. Are we coming back in this game? I actually didn't do that well in high school, surprisingly. Um, I went to a, a magnet school for the arts, and it was not... I just... I honestly, I was completely bored in high school. I was that I was that one kid who was like this isn't challenging enough for me but it's true it wasn't like I lost interest very quickly and uh to my own detriment you know so what so next turn we get to bonfire for three if we want to we can also just play Sarkon and kill the wolf. It's pretty good. This is where they kill Inferno Titan. Makeshift Mannequin on Eternal Witness. Getting back. Actually, that's pretty just pretty good. Getting back Makeshift Mannequin. Getting back Garrick again. Alright. So you add four and then you just play Garrick again. Alright. How many arts? Um, a lot, actually. They had visual arts. They had musical theater. Uh, they had stage technical theater, I think it was called. Um, they had literary arts, which got canceled uh, closer to my senior year. Yeah, going to school to be one thing and then falling out of love with it uh, while you're in school for it is pretty rough. Not gonna, not gonna argue with that. This is like the third Garrick we've had to deal with. This is the third Garrick Relentless. They could kill our Goblin. I don't think that does anything. They can't kill our Inferno Titan. And if they go to shoot our Inferno Titan, we're just gonna block with this guy instead. So, I feel like this game is over. I feel like we actually came back in this game, and I have no idea how. When they had that ridiculous like smuggler's copter sort of body and mind opening i think it's because they missed swings with the smuggler's copter 
Uh, are you asking me specifically? I still like... Oh, they just killed our, our Gobo. I still like literature. I'm a huge art nerd, though, so... Killing animals is not my forte as well, interestingly enough. Um, yeah, we're just going to end the game here, I think. Done. Yep. This guy's got three on him? Yep, all right, cool. And this is how we end the game. Oh, that's a little, that's a little cutie. I mean, we just shoot it and then go to the, go to the dome. This guy seems good. Oh, that'll do. All right. I don't think we had to show them that. Uh, we shoot this guy. We're dealing 10 and then we pump once. Not even really an issue. Okay. So based on that, Hour of Devastation comes in. We can abrade is good. Magma jet can probably come out. Anything else for artifacts that's not Colagon's command? I don't think so. This gets rid of an enchantment. We were more concerned with smuggler's copter and sword of uh, body and mind. What degree should you get to be a pro magic player? Um, well, whatever that degree is, I would recommend not getting it. Stagger Shock could actually be pretty good here because of reasons. Sarkon might be a little slow. Everything else seemed great that game. Even Marshall Koo seems fine. My wife doesn't believe you answer people. Can you tell Elaine her husband is a monster? Husband, Your husband is a monster. He is absolutely the biggest monster I've ever met. He is the biggest monster I have ever met. I will keep this hand. Elaine, make no mistake. Elaine, get out now. It's before it's too late. Yeah, so math and stats make up a relatively high percentage of the pros. That's actually 100% correct. But the thing is, like, all of those guys have full-time jobs that pay significantly more money um, than than Magic does for them. Uh, Tostino's pizza rolls are not a thing. Totino's. You're confusing Tostito's and Totino's pizza roll. Uh, Totino's, like, whatever, chips, salsa, whatever, with Totino's. To 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 Totinos and Tostitos. You're you're confusing those two things. Um, so don't do that, because that's not fair to their brand. But um, it is it is it is Totinos. That is correct. <laughs> I threw the package out already. Good thing I caught you, buddy. This has lifelink, by the way. Just so you guys know. I think they're good when they're not in the microwave, but I don't think that the amount that they're better in the stove is worth the effort it takes, if that makes sense. And her, don't say pizza pockets, that is uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable with the word pizza pockets. Pizza pockets. So if I kill this guy, I can just kill your Garrick. I don't like doing it, but I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't say you're not going to die. Juposhi, what's going on? The Shadows, what's going on? I just finished migrating 70 virtual servers to a data center. And so wow, that is more exciting than me. I just All I did was stream. All right, let's see how many times they get this Garrick back this game. We already have six mana, which is all I want. We are not talking about flesh pizzas, just regular pizzas. Pizza pockets, if you will. Pizza pocket. Should you stay in California or move to Tennessee? This sounds like a much bigger question than I'm certified to answer with the information I have. 
I personally would love to move to California because I, I think it's a great place to be. However, your reasons are probably different than mine. So, that being said, I don't know. Also, I assume Tennessee has much cheaper much cheaper housing than, than California. Not playing Utron? That's a paddling. Here we go. Here we go. We're doing it. It's happening. Hold on. Garrick. Getting back, Garrick. Garrick number two. Ready? Harmonize. Ooh. Luke, do you know you have your own command in the MTG bot? Because that's pretty funny. Oof. Well, that's not going to do it right now. Um... I'm pretty sure it's been a meme for a long time. Oh, boy. Good times, good times. Do you just Bonfire here? You didn't get Garrick back, but Bonfire seems like it's significantly stronger at a later time. I'm just going to attack for two. I feel like holding on to this Bonfire means we probably can't... There's probably a situation where we just can't lose, right? Hot pockets. So, you know, one. That's a grave daddy. Well, that is sad. It's a sad day for a grave daddy. And we know they have makeshift mannequin in their deck. Ugh, gross. Why are you the way that you are? I'm okay, grave dad. Well, all these guys are dying, so. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Kill them all. Let God sort them out. We did it. Put them all in the trash can. Do, 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 do. I would have never blocked with the grave I probably would have blocked with the grave titan but I would I would say I'd never block with the grave titan because it puts me in a superior position intellectually all right no more harmonized but you have six cards in hand are two cards we also have eight mana so anything in our deck we can cast including a martial coup profitably and an Eugene a Eugene a genus oh that's terrifying well we're definitely face fettering that Ain't nobody got time for that, dude. That is just bad news bears. Get him. All right, we have the little three-turn clock. Two-turn clock, I guess, with Bonfire. But don't do anything crazy. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana, so we can do this for four? Oh, God, six mana. Gristle Brand. Well, that is a thing, isn't it? My God. Marshall Coup. Jitte. Jitte, jitte. Jitte, jitte, jitte. Jitte, 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 good. 
Jesus. They go to 17 and they draw a bunch of cards. Oh my god. I just want to vomit. I mean, they're going to do it either way, I guess. So if we activate this guy, we deal four here, we cannot actually kill. Oh, crying out loud. On the bright side, we could deal a bunch of damage. So one, two, three, four. Activate this guy. I actually have to block here. Can we get some counters at least? That's good, right? Oh, I like counters. They're just going to block with their Elvish Mystic. It's really sad. I on alternatively, I don't get mad when you when you have insomnia, eat chicken, and watch me all night. That's just fine. What up, Bjorn? Good seeing you, buddy. Always a pleasure. Guess we should have saved the face fetter for the Grizzle brand. However, if we didn't, then they go Elvish Mystic, Sack Elvish Mystic, Grave Titan, so. Yep, that's what we assumed you were going to do. Mother of God. This is so many cards, dude. I am uncomfortable. Why don't you have Trample, you stupid idiot? Look at that beautiful chicken. Ugh. <laughs> So bad. Attempt to just give this dude neg two, neg two. I don't know if that's great. It's two less life they gain. It's two less damage we take. So they go to 17. <sighs> Vomit. Just gonna pass. I'll just take it. Two, two life is two life. Oh my god, Gristlebrand, why are you the way that you are, dude? Oh, what is this? Hmm, Terastodon. Okay, well, now we're hoping we can do a thing. Needle Spires, Chromatic Lantern, Jitte. That's what I'm assuming you're gonna do. I'm F5ing as fast as I can. Okay. <sighs> Game two. What were your targets? Just Jitte? Oh, Jitte face fetters. Yeah, that's pretty good. So you, I would sack the terrest. Oh, I sack the elephant to get back. Uh, yeah, this is pretty bad. This is bad for us. Oh, crying out loud. Yep. It's not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. If Bonfire was still in our deck... That would be cool. How about Marshall Coup right now? Sacking a zombie to get Eternal Witness has to be the play, right? Yeah, okay. My god. Nightmare. Getting back. Harmonize. Does that go here? Probably not. Nope. Marshall Coup. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Welp. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So four damage to you, you, you. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the next game. Huh. I'm intrigued. Intrigued. Uh hidden dragon slayer seems pretty good here. Stagger Shock can come out. That, that deck, deck game two seemed like a com completely different deck. Declaration and Stone can come in. Um, everything else seemed good. Actually, yeah, that's probably better than Dragon Slayer, to be quite honest. Maybe I want both. I don't know. I don't know. Eh. I don't think I care about this Chandra. Jacob Summer, have a good night, buddy. 
This guy actually seems good. I got 42 cards? Ugh, gross. Um, Horthling Outburst isn't surprisingly good for us. I think we can just cut Dragon Slayer and just submit like this. We'll go 41. I think it's fine. We have 17 lands, a Mind Stone, and a Lantern. It is 2.11, that is correct. Not to be confused with 3.11. Did a lot of things dumb, dumb. Know that we have always been down, down. If I ever did anything, you, you. Then just let me do it now. Keep my feet on the ground. You know, that kind of thing. Don't confuse them. Let's play first. Uh, I don't hate this hand, but I don't love it. So I'm going to keep it and hope the white shows up. Swords is great. These two are fine. This guy's a thing. I don't know. I'm about to move from this computer to my phone. I'm going to be streaming in bed. Just me, you, and the girlfriend. Nice. Appreciate it, buddy. Glad you let me into your home like this. It was very nice. It's a nice, quiet evening. Planes? That is not a planes at all. And I resent you for handing it to me. Now the problem is we have a planes and we get a whirling outburst, but it's a turn late, so. Oh, for crying out loud. Now I feel bad about everything. Oh boy. Luke, you just said, when did so get my owl MTG bot command? That's barely English, buddy. Please land. Oh my goodness. These guys. Close but not quite. Have a good night, buddy. I also hope that I miracle that bonfire for 10. That's. Yep, that is unfortunate. We do get to swords this guy, so that's a thing. However, it's not great. It's not good. Oh, God, we do this and they still gain a million life? Come on. We also Lightning Helix Mizium Mortars. Whatever. Just die. Might as well draw seven. I don't actually know when Juposhi entered that command. I think that's a Juposhi command. Yep. It's a lot of mana. A lot of life. I don't think we can actually beat this deck. I think they just go way too... Uh... Yeah, they have 11 cards. We have 3 cards. I think they just go way too high for us. They go tall, we go wide. And our wideness does not even come close to accounting for their tallness. <laughs> Whatever that means. So, Oracle of Mold Molduya. So they have a forest on top. I hate asking you stuff, but what do you think about blue white auras and standard? Why do you hate asking me stuff like that? Also, um, I don't really have much of an opinion on it. I think it's, I don't think a deck is great. Like, you know, I'm not thrilled about saying that. I, I think it's a, I think it's a cool deck. I think it's a fringe deck. 
Um, I think it has a lot of weak points. I feel like it's it's like it's like the boggles of standard, but without being as resilient. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not the guy to ask. Blah blah blah. Um. Oh, well, that's good. I guess you can deal one to something. Then just let me do it now. Keep my feet on the ground. Palooka nose in your hand. Now it's also on the ground. Then just let Palooka nose now. Oh boy. So I guess we can. Uh. Uh, we kept the Abrade because we know they have Sword of Body and Mind and Smuggler's Copter. Like, they're going to kill a 1-1 one -one here, which is fine. God, we're wasting so much, so many things on this guy. But if they do want to kill one one, they can. Now I just have to read you in a different voice, Luke. Now I have to be like, "Oh, how come you're not playing Utron, Frank?" Oh, cool. I figured you had actually. I figured you had dismember. I'm just curious as to why you're not playing Mono Blue Tron, eh? It's probably like my favorite dick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So Terracidon can come down. Garrick comes down. Yes. Something else. Harmonize. Oh, I'm sorry to be a bother, but uh, this isn't Blue Tron, is it? How about Bonfire here? Oh, planes. Eh, yeah, that's also okay. I guess we'll just play this guy. I feel like it's probably Lightning Helix to kill their guy. Uh, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this guy. Eh? And we'll attack all at your face. Alright, I'm going to stop the Canadian voice. I actually, I think I actually went longer than I meant to. Um, because I kind of just got in the zone as I was trying to figure out what to do. And, uh, here we are. Opponent's clock is getting a little on the low side here. What is this? Three mana? Makeshift mannequin? Oh, Hero's Downfall. Oh, that's pretty good. I only have three cards. It's not the best. This is sad, though. That would have been a great combo. Two cards. Here comes Nasty Terasty. Kill your own lands. Yep. Never never fails, guys. Never fails. 
what can we do when they're at six with five lands? Like we have to hit, the problem is we have to hit land, like land, land, land to do any of our big stuff. Whether it's Ugin, Bonfire. All right, you're gonna give me a land. That seems good. Or not give me a land, but you're gonna give me an elephant. Okay. Pretty sure we just lose this round. Don't feel good about it. I feel like I actually, I would have more trophies if I actually played decks that were um, better than they are fun. Does that make sense to you guys? Here comes a, it's actually not terrible. Kapow. Go to your face. Not the worst draw I've ever seen. Intriguing. I'll just take 15 here. Sacrifice the dude, get a Grave Titan. Seems good. Let's just predict all the plays. Terastodon into Grave Titan. Eternal Witness. That's pretty good. Get back heroes, downfall, kill our one creature. Yeah, shooting and blocking would have been good, but uh, the problem is I wanted to keep all the tokens because they're at six. So if they mess up somehow, we can actually deal them seven. So I feel like that's like, we're trying we're trying to win, you know? Like they, if they attack with everything, like maybe we draw a removal spell, kill a guy, I don't know. It's dismember. Sure. I see. Welp. So it's 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. Never, never happening. All right. So I'm not sure there's anything we can actually do here. I think we're just dead. 12, sure. I'm from Canada, not Fargo, Minnesota. Actually, my Canadian accent and my, my Fargo, Minnesota accent are, uh, you know, basically the same exact thing, unfortunately. Huh. Sure. Actually, Zealous Conscripts might be good here. Well, less so now because you drew a guy. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, you're just going to get... Sure. Sylvan Carry added. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's literally nothing we can draw here. Bonfire? Even Bonfire only does it for four. Yeah, that's not going to do it. All right. Well, that is unfortunate. This deck seemed fun. Um, was ne not nearly as fun as it was good or vice versa. But either way, good to whatever. Anyway, I had a good time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content. And I will see you guys next time.